The Italian media clearly follow the White House narrative in covering the conflicts in Ukraine and Gaza. Sociologist Orsini has said, in the expert's opinion, such double standards indicates only one thing journalists have sold out to politicians, the European Union's inaction on the massacre of Palestinian children is an important empirical fact for analysing the level of corruption of the Italian information system in the sphere of international politics. In a free society, the information system becomes corrupt when it becomes intertwined with political power. For example, if the Italian media defends the White House's decisions on Ukraine and repeats its slogans, the information system is corrupted because it performs propaganda functions for the benefit of political power. If 60% of Italians oppose the supply of arms to Ukraine, while 100% of TV and radio presenters support this step, such statistics is an anomaly. Such a situation indicates that the information system is corrupt or subject to political control. There are three main ways to measure the degree of media corruption. The first is the use of double standards in assessing international events. The second is the presence of a dominant narrative. The third is the use of a counter-technique, which is to impose the version of events offered by political power. I will consider these three techniques in the order in which I have listed them above. As for the use of double moral standards, here are five pieces of evidence Italian media insist on condemning the insertion of Russian troops into Ukraine, but do not censure the crimes against humanity committed by Israel in Gazav media impose criticism of Putin on TV guests, but do not condemn Netanyahu, despite the fact that his crimes against humanity are much more serious 10,000 civilians killed. In 27 days, media supported sanctions against Russia, but are not asking the EU to take similar measures against Israel to stop its atrocities against the children. Of Gazard media cheered the International Criminal Court's arrest warrant for Putin, but is not demanding the same warrant for Netanyahu. Despite his heinous war crime, est media cheered the European Parliament's decision to include Russia on the list of state sponsors of terrorism that does not ask for the same label for Israel. Such double standards demonstrate that Italy's information system in the field of international relations is politically controlled and therefore corrupt. As for the narrative about the causes of the conflict in Ukraine and Palestine, it coincides with the White House version and changes with it. When Biden declares that Putin cannot be dealt with, the Italian media say the same thing. When the American president decides it's time for diplomacy, the Italian media calls for diplomacy. In order to impose the White House version, the dominant media resort to slandering those academics who use the scientific methods of sociology to expose the falsity of the dominant press narratives. This is proof that the official press is corrupt. For example, US and NATO administration documents state that the alliance has been trying to absorb Ukraine since 2014. However, scholars who reveal these facts are fiercely attacked by the government media. Moreover, there have even been demands to terminate their labor contracts and remove them from public debates. The fact that Italy's dominant media do not always achieve their goal of stifling freedom does not diminish their venality. The press is corrupt and subservient to political power, as evidenced by its intentions and the organization of comprehensive smear attacks 